Hello, this is Nadia Tach with Coaching by Nadia, and I help busy, successful professionals who do not have time, but they know they need to take care of themselves, and I help them to balance self-care into the busy lives without compromising those busy lifestyles, and we do it through transformation of mindset, nutrition, fitness, for one habit at a time. Today, I'm going to teach you five exercises to do while you're working in the chair. I'm going to clarify. Working in the chair means you're either on the phone or even worse, you're on Zoom. So it's hard to move if you're on Zoom on the video. So I'd like to address what you can do to get your body moving while you are sitting on the chair in front of the screen on Zoom or other video technology and you're feeling numb. <laughs> And you know that you need to move, okay? So I specifically designed those. And so let's think about when you are on the video, the, the upper part of your body is actually much visible, right? So there is some more wiggle room on the bottom part of our body, but at the same time, I don't want to stand up. I don't want to stretch and look really strange and weird. So what can I do? to gently move where it might look like a stretch or something. It actually still looks decent. Okay, so I just wanted to clarify our intention for this video, specifically for that. So five of them, and let's go through them and go ahead and try with me. And again, this is just a suggestion. It's not a prescription. It's recommendation to give it a try. And please, at your own risk, if you're in doubt, don't do it. Okay, so number one, and actually I'm going to go through the entire body, so it's a full body, let's say, workout, where we're going to go start from the top of the body all the way to the bottom, okay? All right, so let's start with shoulder circles, and I'm going to switch angles sideways and forward so you can see me in both directions. So imagine when you're sitting in front of the screen, shoulder circles feel totally fine, isn't it? So with shoulder circles, I'm going to lift shoulders up, back, and down. And notice your upper back, your lower and mid back, your upper and mid back, really working hard to engage all these muscles. So I'm actually focusing quite a bit on my back as well. Okay. If you feel all right, you can gently move your arms, but that will be up to you. Maybe just a couple. Or shoulder circles can be quite innocent, isn't it? And guess what? We can do the same thing rolling them forward. That's the engagement of the chest. In fact, you can do one at a time. Okay. So again, we're engaging chest, back, shoulders. And the third one with shoulder rolls, I am going to uh, call it like a wings. So imagine your wings. I'm going to close wings, forward, and open the wings, back. So I'm moving my shoulders straight forward and straight back. Squeezing the chest, squeezing the back. Oh, warming up those muscles. While you're doing that, Make sure you sit in nice and tall. The top of your head stretches towards the sky, chin tucked in, so please do not move your neck forward. Focus on really nice and tall form. Okay, so that's our number one. In general, I call it shoulder rolls. We did back circles, front circles, and we did wings closed and open. Okay. Number two, so there's some options, but what I'd like to work on is um, Abs and because glutes are easy to put into the same one. So think about abs as our core. So when I say draw your abs in, squeeze your lower tummy and lift it on purpose towards your chest. Almost like you're lifting yourself up in the chair without lifting your shoulders. Keep them down. So draw your abs towards the ribcage and squeeze your butt at the same time. It's actually very convenient to do these two things at the same time. Nobody is going to notice that. And it's just listen what's squeezing in your body. Your abs are squeezing, your glutes are squeezing. Such a good one to do. Ooh, feeling that. 
Okay, just try a few times. In fact, when I do it with my hands, I'm showing you the direction where I'm squeezing my muscles. Okay. The other one in this element, this is up to you to decide. I'm going to work on my obliques a little bit as well. I'm going to gently lift my hip and then switch to another hip. Gently lift my hip off the chair just a little bit. So I'm engaging my obliques. I'm engaging my glutes again. Almost like I'm gently stretching. Nobody's ever going to notice it. And again, sit nice and tall. So from the side, if you see there's not much movement happening, so I'm not helping with my body doing any additional movement. Okay. Sure. I call it draw your abs, squeeze your butt, <laughs> and lift your hips. So let's switch to the lower body. The first one, I'm going to use a yoga block. If you don't have yoga block, bring a pillow or a really large soft toy. We're going to work on less the inside muscles, the doctor's muscles. So I'm going to put yoga block right inside my legs, but not on your knees. So make sure your knees are not squeezing the block. And that's it. And I'm going to squeeze the block with exhale. Squeeze and hold. Each exhale you're holding, so you're utilizing time under tension. Oh, by the way, when you do it long enough, your muscle memory is already there, and you don't have to think about it. You can just keep squeezing and doing your work, and then you will feel, oh, yes. <laughs> so that's a really good one, working on adductors. Those muscles are often underworked and weak for us. Okay, I call it pillow squeeze. So the number four, we're going to work on the hips and we're going to work on abductors, the side muscles of the legs, and we're going to work on the glutes as well. This one is really great for, if you have knee problems, to strengthen those muscles that support the knees. So think about number one variation. I'm going to extend my leg. Keep your toes flexed. When you extend, just keep one degree of knee. Hold. Again, it's Time under tension. Do not rush. Sit nice and tall. Step up number two variation. You're going to lift the leg and extend the leg. Ooh, ooh. Notice how your abs are trying to help as well. You can either relax one at a time or keep extending. Sit really nice and tall. Nothing is moving, just the leg extension. And, of course, repeat on the other side. Okay. And the step number three in the same realm, go ahead and lift both legs up, okay? So this is for our hips, for knees, and in fact, you might notice your hamstring, the back side of the leg. So let's switch to abductors, the side muscles. Very similar concept, might be hard, but try it. So step number one, you can just bring your leg out. So make sure when you bring your leg out, your chair is not moving. Mine is rolling, so it's easy to roll the chair, but we don't want to do that. Also, I'm going to scoot close to the side, so I've got some space to work. Okay? Step number two, go ahead and lift in the air and open up as much as you can. Okay? You got that? Oh, wow, I felt it. And, of course, you can guess step number three. I don't even know if I can do it. <laughs> go ahead and lift legs to both directions. You should feel those side muscles being really engaged. Wow. Okay. I think this will be my next workout. <laughs> so I call it leg lift. And the fifth one, of course, I cannot say do not do stretches. I have to do the stretches. So, again, when you're in the chair and you really cannot move that much, you're right in front of the video, these stretches, please make sure that you understand whether you can do them. If you're not sure, please don't. So number one, normally be here. Don't cross your legs. But you actually stretch on the side of your leg and all the way to the glutes and even your low back. You can gently lower down. and you know, Maybe you can just lean it on the table for a while. The other option is to step up, bring your ankle. And you will notice this muscle is working really hard. The stretch is good for sciatica nerve, for low back. And, of course, switch on the other side. Okay. So for the back, again, 
If you know you can do it, do. If not sure, please don't or ask me. I'm going to do the spinal twist. I'm going to just gently twist and twist. If you can see, I'm also using additional twist by pressing against my knee and the chair. Yeah, and if it's okay, you can actually use your gaze and twist with gaze. Okay. And the same with shoulder rolls. In fact, it's okay if you sit and you actually press against the elbow. You're rolling your shoulders back and sitting nice and tall. You can even bring your arms behind, interlace your fingers, and roll shoulders back and down towards the chair. You can even gently rotate the elbows, feeling stretch in your arms. Such a good chest opener movement. Okay. Well, I'm going to add, you can also stretch your legs on the front and keep them a little bit, lean forward again, stretch the hamstrings. Possibilities of stretches, probably numerous, but I included the ones we just worked on in the exercise. Okay. So five exercises you can do while working on the chair on the video call. Number one is shoulder rolls back forward, front and back. Number two, draw your abs, squeeze your butt, leg lift. Oh, I'm sorry. Number three is leg lift. We lift it to the front, we lift it to the side. And number five is stretches. Oh, I see what I've missed. The pillow squeeze was right in between. Okay. Well, so this is something you can do to still help your body. I'm going to roll towards you while working on the chair and still help your body be active. Before you go, please let me know how this resonated with you. If you have any questions, feel free to go to um, coachingbynadia.com forward slash contact, and please talk to me. I will see you soon.